Today we're going to cover some of the altcoins that we've talked about on the channel before because they are shooting off to the moon as you can see with Pokestarter right here. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Hit that subscribe button down below if you want to stay up to date with the cryptocurrency news and learning how to rotate your profits into other investment assets. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much guys. You know what to do. Hit that like button down below. Get us to a thousand likes on the video. It really goes a long way to helping out the channel. Push that video through the YouTube algorithm. All right, let's start with Pokestarter. Now, you know, we've talked about this on the channel a lot. P-O-L-S, our polls. And this has just hit my target well and truly up here at five bucks. Now, I still don't see a reversal signal yet, so I may take a little off the table here. What I'm using here is the long position tool. So it's just on the side here, long position, click that. And then this is where we entered back Oh, what was it? Early mid January. So, so far we have gone from about a dollar up to $5. So that's a pretty decent return. We know cryptocurrency can do a hell of a lot more, but I'm pretty happy taking big gains out, especially with the feeling that this uh, altcoin season is starting to get a little bit older. Now, obviously the altcoin season started uh, nearly a month ago, even earlier for a lot of cryptos. So it is probably wise to start thinking about some sort of exit strategy. Funny fact, I have an exit strategy video coming up on the channel. Probably by the time you see this video, it will already be up, if not within a few hours. So stick around for that. Remember, subscribe if you want to see that and hit the bell notification icon so you know when the video is released. So polls is one of those cryptos which we are in. I'm giving an update because some people may continue to hold this right up all the way down. Remember, it's not financial advice. It's just what I'm seeing on the chart. I can be completely wrong and this thing can double again from this point. Maybe we go from $5 all the way to $10 and it just makes this look absolutely like nothing, just squashes it out of the park. The disclaimer I'll add to that is we're currently at five bucks. So entering here in order to get to $10, I'm sure many of you know that by now because we talk about it a lot, but to get to 10 bucks, it's just 100%. It's a really high risk strategy just to make 100% in cryptocurrency. We know that a lot of cryptos can make a lot more than 100%. We are in at a dollar on average, and right now we're nearly at five, so that sits us at around 380%, somewhere around 400%. So if we were to move up to $10 from that point, we're gonna be sitting at or eight or nine hundred percent, whereas the guys coming in now for this coin will only be looking at a hundred percent. So really keep that in mind if you are considering about jumping on board any of these trains that have left the station and you're just running after them. The people who bought back here, like us, we can be selling out at those levels. It's it's a huge return. It's pretty decent returns, and I'd be very happy with those. As I'm sure a lot of people would be. If we did get to ten bucks. There we go, eight, nearly 900%. I'm pretty happy with that. I think many people would be, so it's a pretty easy decision to sell out. Whereas other guys getting in here at five, I know I'm repeating myself, but it's a very high risk just to get out of that 10. We could be selling at seven, eight, nine. So keep that in mind as well if you are thinking about getting into these markets late. Pokestarter has also made us approximately 160% against our Bitcoin values. That's the biggest one. We wanna be making Bitcoin, stacking those sats. Now, I think this chart is a little bit off in Huobi. I can never say that right. I think this should be probably somewhere a little bit close to the top. So maybe around 200% gains against our Bitcoin value as well. What that All that means is if we put one Bitcoin's worth in at these levels, I'm sure many of you did, and now we find ourselves at the current level, then we would be getting about two and a half, we'll be pulling out about two and a half Bitcoin after putting in one. So that's pretty cool. Let's have a look at Engine. Engine coin was one of those coins that I posted on my YouTube community post area and just put engine. There was a big announcement back in mid or so January about them getting a license with a Japanese gaming something or other. Anyway, it was a big announcement. Essentially, it pumped from that point, went sideways for a bit. I decided to sell out during the sideways period. Then we saw another pump. I have to be comfortable with this. At the moment, it looks like it's probably going to pump again. The reason why I was selling out is because I saw a swing break down, but then it began to accumulate again and take off. Overall, this was off a news piece, so I'm not that phased on losing out extra, extra profits. 
I've already made from about 20 cents, sold out about 40, so double my money in that, that's fine. Let's move on from engine, but it's still going. So if anyone was still holding at that point, you've now basically tripled your money because it's approximately 60 cents. So that's an update on engine. Again, it moved against its Bitcoin value, so that's another great thing. That's what we're always looking for. So from around mid-January, about here, around 500 or 600 Satoshis, currently at 1200. So currently at about double, and I was at around 900. So I made about 50% on my Bitcoin, stacking those sats. Now let's talk about a project which I've just talked about on the channel. It is Tezos. Now I don't have any emotional ties to these coins, unlike I do with something like Ethereum. Tezos, we just got in at around $4, currently at $5.20. This one was set to explode past those all time highs and it has done just that. So we could be in for another bigger run from here. It was getting close to the all time highs, the volume was increasing. So we took a punt on uh, XTZ, which is Tezos, currently up from around $4 or $4.20 on average to where we are now, about 30%. So nothing huge, but pretty decent at the end of the day. Let's see if Tezos is up against its Bitcoin value. So the entry price was about 9,200, currently sitting at about 110,000. So that gives us a close to a 20% return on our BTC value. Not too bad. I think this still has a lot further to run. So rather than just give you only the updates, which I think have already run and don't have that much more left in it, here's one that was just posted a couple of days ago in a previous video. So if you want to be updated with these, stick around on the channel, hit the subscribe button and the like button so that these videos get pushed through to your YouTube feed. If you don't hit the like button, you're not telling YouTube that you wanna see more of this content. Just a couple more to go through and these were mentioned on the altcoin video. So I had a video of top 10 altcoins that could 10X or 100X, one of those sort of SEO type videos. One of the coins was YFII, and I gave a reason for this being that I think it will do similar moves to YFI, which is Yearn Finance. Now this is DeFi Finance. Basically, it's a hard fork of YFI, and I think people will just feel a little safer knowing that. Plus, the ticker symbol is obviously very similar to YFI, which is currently at about 45 thousand dollars as you can see right here now yfii is at three thousand so let's have a look at it against the us dollar value and i was talking about this on the channel when it was at around two and a half thousand so the percentage return isn't overly huge yet so it was around these levels we're at about 30 percent so it's still early days on yfii remember this can go against us and i'm looking at this now with lowering volume but the volatility is dropping too. So that's a, a normal sign to see. We've seen a breakout of the highs. This is a fantastic Wyckoff setup. We saw accumulation, we saw a test, saw a retest of the lows, breakout of the highs. Now we're reaccumulating at these higher levels. I think we will test 4,000, then we'll move up to 7,000 and we'll see how far this thing goes. Maybe it will break through its tops past 10,000 and get us to 20,000. Remember, YFI is sitting at $45,000. It's not exactly the same, I understand that, but it has a very high dollar value and it just captures the attentions of people's imaginations to think, what if this coin goes to more than Bitcoin? You know, Bitcoin's value at $47,000. That's the sort of thing I'm writing on here, plus that setup is amazing. That's a beautiful setup there of accumulation and a breakout. So YFI, I think is still in the early days. I will be adding to my position on this one. I like it a lot. And YFII, let's look at it against the Bitcoin value just to see whether we are too late. Auto, let's set it to auto. No, we're still very early on against the Bitcoin value. So we were looking at it here, 0.05 of a Bitcoin, currently at 0.067. Another great setup, like I said, adding to my position here, YFII. I like this cryptocurrency a lot. Last crypto we'll look at is YFI. 45,600, nearly at a whole Bitcoin's value. See that pattern again? We've had another breakout and we're sitting above the old all-time highs. We are potentially accumulating at these levels. Remember, like I said, with every other altcoin here, it can go against us. We may reaccumulate here or it may be distribution. This is all part of investing 
trading at first and then throwing into some long-term investments like Bitcoin or Ethereum. Right now, we're seeing a fantastic structure set up, broke out at all-time highs, reaccumulating at the highs, giving us that extra second or that extra second chance to get in before it shoots to 100 grand, who knows? The reason why it can get to 100 grand so much easier than Bitcoin is because the supply is so low on YFI. The supply is only 30,000 YFI tokens, or it could be 40,000. Either way, 30, 40,000, it's extremely low for such a high market cap. So this is why it could go to 100,000 very quickly. Now, in terms of a percentage, it's not that much, of course. To go to 100,000 is like just over 100% from where we currently are because we're sitting at 45,000, so up to 100,000 approximately 100, 110%. That's still pretty decent. If we look at it in terms of our Bitcoin value, we are sitting at 0.96 of a Bitcoin. The pattern here also looks pretty good. We've seen a lot of volume push it through to test these highs again. That's what I want to see. But I definitely want to see it break through the high and at least retest it, if not shoot up to the next resistance level, which is 1.65 Bitcoin. Notice we're talking about these in whole Bitcoins, not fractions of a Bitcoin. It's old all time high was set at 4.2 Bitcoin. So I'm hopeful that we can get back to that old all time high. That's what I'm betting on anyway. So these areas much safer to be buying at unless stumbled there, unless we break through the lows, but we're at a much lower level. So this is the safer area to buy in at these uh, at these levels for these shit coins. Basically, we don't want to be buying it as it's spiking up. Let's get them low, sell them high. We have given an opportunity. Let's take the opportunity. With that said, it's not financial advice. It's education in terms of a chart. And this is what I see on the chart. If you happen to see something else, let me know in the comments down below. What structure setups are you seeing? Which coins are you liking the chart setup of on a chart? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll wrap that video up there, guys. If you want to learn more about this, you can join the Investor Accelerator. There is a link to the membership group down below. 40% off for a limited time, so check that out. Join us on the channel for the next video. Subscribe, like the video up. Let's get it to 1,000 likes. Let YouTube know you wanna see more of this content. I'll be having a lot of this cryptocurrency and investing content coming your way. There's tax videos coming up. There's exit strategy videos coming up. So stick around for that. I'll catch you at the next one. Until then, have more fun to get more done. Peace out.